young people are very, very special. And this trust really does believe in young people. Andrew Reid, the Royal School of Church Music director, was at a cathedral conference of directors of music. There were 36 of them. And he said to them, where did your musical life start? Only six began their musical life in the cathedral. The rest began their musical life in churches other than cathedrals. And we have got to nurture the people that we're hearing today. We give five years worth of lessons to young people starting at the age of 12 or 13. I think that church congregations are aging in general, people are retiring, and also there isn't the culture amongst younger people to hear the instrument in the way they might have done two generations ago when more families were involved with their local churches. So although there is musical talent out there, they're not necessarily being exposed to the organ. Trust is doing a great job by the generosity of Martin Clark to get the, the Trust founded and provide funding to start it off. And now we're hoping to get encourage much more um, wide funding from other people around the country and to enable us to have organ scores outside Yorkshire as well. So the Yorkshire aspect is the founding part, but now there are other areas of the country too which are taking this on. Although this trust bears my name, uh, I'd probably do less than anybody to make tonight a reality. The real hard work is done by Chris, the other trustees. And of course the really hard work was done tonight by the pupils. It's to me a privilege to be involved with this important movement. It's essential for the maintenance of the great tradition of church music. Our young scholars, with their training, will find out the full potentialities of the instrument. And what is important, its expressive qualities. I've been playing for about uh, two and a half years. I started in August 2013 and I've been through so much. It's, it's been a wonderful experience so far. I've played for uh, churches uh, for quite a number of services now and uh, I've done grades on the organ as well, uh, managing to get to grade six so far, hopefully doing uh, my grade eight soon in the next two years to come. We want to try and install a new generation so organ playing can last for many decades to come. It's, it's such a wonderful instrument and you'd expect uh, loads of people to be playing it and that's why this trust was set up because we want to try and spread the word uh, about the organ. There's no other instrument in the world like it. The, the amount of feelings you can create uh, with the organ is infinite um, and the sounds that can be created are like no other instrument as well.
Well, my friend Harry was performing an organ recital at Beverly Minster, my local church, so I went there to support him and found all these people who were very supportive and wanted to take me on. Well, I've been playing the piano for a long time beforehand, so it didn't take much consideration and I decided I'd give it a try and haven't regretted it. And it's been nearly two months since I started in, in January. It's very exciting and interesting and different to anything else you could play. Yeah, I love to be able to, be able to perform and to be able to meet other people and to be in, at these places on nights like this. That's what keeps me going. <laughs> About three years ago, Chris came to one of our services about this new opportunity and this new thing that they were starting to organise, which is the Young Organ Scholars Trust. And Robert was obviously thinking about who could be part of this new opportunity, and he approached me to um, see if I would be interested in learning to play the organ because I'd just started learning the piano with Robert and he thought I had the technical ability on the piano to be able to uh, start playing the organ. And um, one thing led to another and um, I was interviewed to start the programme and uh, there was a probation period of about six months I think and um, I've just carried on ever since. I've played in a few local churches and obviously Beverly Minster, which is where I'm learning at the moment. Um, the organ is an amazing instrument uh, that can be difficult to describe and very difficult to play, but once you can master the skills, you can make an amazing sound and a very big sound, and you can play basically as a whole orchestra just by yourself. Well, I've been playing about three years. Um, I started off when I joined the choir in, at home in Bridlington and I, I heard the organ and um, yeah, uh, it, I just thought it was a magnificent instrument. Um, I tried to get lessons, <laughs> but my mum wouldn't let me. So um, after a lot of begging, I um, eventually managed to get some lessons and that was shortly um, followed by this, this scholarship. Um, yeah, and then it's developed, I moved to Ampleforth where um, I came under William Daw. I mean, it's fantastic, but you've really got to have the passion. You've got to want to do it. It's, it's tough and it, it'll take a lot of your time. I mean, it will dominate your life, <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> changed my life really. Um, you don't have to really worry about the finances. Um, it's also given us fantastic opportunities like today um, which has meant we can play in, in amazing places. You, know. you really you know you get a sense of the size of the organ and it's it's like a power. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic to hear it go around the church and then it comes to you. It's amazing.
hope you've seen what we can achieve in three short years, but we are ambitious. Chris has said that we want to do a lot more. We really do want to ensure and safeguard the future of the great choral tradition, the great organ tradition of church music. And we really need you to do that. We've learned a lot in three short years. I think we've got some experience and wisdom which we can share with you. And Chris has already volunteered to travel the length and breadth of this country to help you do that. Uh, and we'd be delighted if you could help us make our vision a reality over the years to come. This trust really does believe in young people. And it's time everyone did because my dream is to have 200 young scholars throughout the country by the time I'm 75 in four years' time. Since getting involved in the project, the Trust have helped me to uh, see a new future in music and broaden my horizon of the different types of music that there is out there and um, not just made me because before I was just a trumpet and piano player, but now I've, my mind has also been open to church music and new classical music that I never knew even existed before. I think it's brilliant. I think it should definitely be supported and it should grow as much as it possibly could. I think it's, uh, I think it's a wonderful trust. Uh, I think everything they're doing is uh, fantastic and uh, I do believe uh, that Chris Cowell will manage to reach his goal of 200 uh, organ scholars uh, in the UK within the next four years. Please think hard, because I think the future of church music is in our hands. So please help them on their way. <laughs>